way is to start in advance to check what we want to use and the architecture that we want to create in our models to be sure to do a terrible mistake at the end. When the error is easy to check is, for example, in the case of PyTorch. It's easy, of tens of the same, but I want to use the spot, my model on Onyx, and I simply receive an error. Okay. In this case, it's easy to check. Okay, I cannot export because if my model is just training or I'm production, it's a nightmare because I have to retrain everything. I have to change my architecture, but it's easy to check. Okay, I have to change. But what happens if my old model is written in, in a way that I do not receive at all an error? So I can export, the export works, but the result could be different. So I can have a text, I can just check all the pipelines from the exports from the deployment, but what happens could be completely different. And so what happens in this DA? This DA is if we have to check the Onyx documentation before at the beginning or just to look on the page, not at the end when we have errors, but immediately I using PyTorch version 1.10, it's okay. What are the limits for Onyx? What are is I'm using on my models to training it and just to check. This is very important because also we use other tools like Onyx Optimizer, we can see that for example, it's my architecture that doesn't work. So I have to check also the issue on GitHub. I have to check if, oh, I can change my architecture or my options to export correctly in Onyx my model. And what this seems to see is, okay, but it's natural to see the documentation. Just remember the documentation changed because not only the Onyx release new version, but also because the offset could be deprecated, removed. So all my pipeline need to be checked every time I update something or just I deploy on the cloud. Also, we use a lot of the Onyx runtime. And another idea completely wrong is if I just to use the best performance optimization options to have the best performance. This is an example, it's not true. If I use the quantization, but I use the CPU, I'm not optimizing my model, but I'm avoiding performance. And uh, sometimes I reduce my, my accuracy. And this is true, for example, for the normal CPU, it's not true for the GPU. Or if we, we are using the ARM processor, we can use other optimization. In this case, it's better also to be able to export or just to use different models also in Onyx one time. So a model that use the CPU and other models that use the CPU with some notes of the version that we're using and why are we using these options? Because also in, in, this, in this case, we don't have error, we don't have warning. Simple, our models is not working as we expect to. So it's not just not to be scared about the Onyx and its runtime. It's also just to say that checking the documentation in advance is possible because we have to design our model to be optimized. And the way is always the same, is check the documentation and check the changes. Also, we can see here the operator are supported, but supported in different version. So it could be something is, is changed. Or, or perhaps in the Onyx runtime or other frame that you use to run, they are not optimized or um, something is changed and also is easy to check and to fix it, but we have to know. So Onyx and Onyx runtime are great tools, my remind that we are the mind. So we have to know what we are using. We cannot just use and hope that everything will be okay. So thank you. Thank you for having me. If you have any question, just no problem, I'm in chat. Bye. Mm -hmm.